Welcome to our brief introduction to our phase one report um, exploring guidance for improving out of kind mitigation across California's coastal zone. Full report is available to you. Please check it out and give us any feedback you might have. We'd love to hear from you. The context of this report is that, uh, as we all know, we're facing increasing challenges across California's coastal zone. Um, degradation is continuing. The magnitude and the frequency of stressors uh, seems to be increasing. And a lot of the easy things to do have already been done. That combines together to translate into the palette of potential sites or the reference functioning we can measure, et cetera, um, is now uh, either currently limited or is likely to be pretty seriously constrained in the future. Next, uh, we think that mitigation is an underutilized tool for boosting social justice and equity across the wider coastal zone. Uh, we have lots of definitions in our report, but just a few couple key ones here. One, first and foremost, the coast. We use a general definition for the coast here. So we're referring to the terrestrial regions of our state that are directly influenced by the ocean and the ocean directly influenced by the terrestrial area. So we're, we're not trying to play favorites here. We're not, this is not code for one particular ecosystem. We're talking about a broad swath of anything in that zone. We're discussing compensatory mitigation here, which is which, which seeks to replace all lost resources. Um, and full compensation would be replacing all of the losses for whatever the particular impact uh, was. Um, we talk about ecological structure and function um, as a, oftentimes as, as a whole, even though we, we explore these and, and talk about these uh, separately and have in our, across our careers. Um, but, but we think this is an important category. And that would be uh, in contrast to another category, which is also important, but doesn't really get much attention or hasn't got as much attention in the mitigation world as we think it should. And that is ecosystem services, which are the benefits or the values we derive from that structure or functioning. The most important definition here and the most important thing to lay out is this idea of in versus out of kind mitigation. In kind is where we replace a resource with a like resource. Out of kind mitigation is where we take a uh, resource that's damaged and replace it with something different from the resource that was particularly damaged. Um, using out of kind, um, is, if, while both mitigation approaches use some type of equivalency factor, it gets much more complicated when we talk about out of kind mitigation and we spend a lot of time thinking about equivalency factors. Here is the palette of, of how we can think about um, uh, mitigation in the coastal zone. Uh, historically, we and, and, and the main thing we mostly have done to date is this uh, traditional on-site and in-kind mitigation. Um, starting in the 80s, we had some other ideas, and uh, by 1990, we had the first formal legal MOU um, at the federal level, which really uh, gets uh, launches the whole idea of mitigation banking and in-lieu fee approaches. And so that would be also a type of in-kind mitigation, but one that takes place at a different uh, physical location. In contrast, what we're talking about in this report uh, are out-of-kind approaches. And so this is where we substitute the resource, uh, be it on-site or nearby or, or off-site. Now, we think that all of these are important. We're not trying to say that out-of-kind is quote-unquote better, but we want to have a full palette of tools to work with, and we think we need to have all of these um, in our tool bag. Um, what we propose briefly in the report is what we're, we're just for shorthand calling comment, but basically this is um, a, a framework that's going to rely on ecological structure and function, a, and ecosystem services B as the primary components, the things we assess and are, and are worried about. How we combine those things is non-trivial. Um, you can use a single metric uh, that, that was some common currency um, ac across both systems that we're talking about. Um, it could be multiple metrics that are somehow summed or aggregated, or it could be something like a dollar equivalency. We have this in mind for our model for how to do that. So, so on the x-axis is replacement similarity, so the system that was being impacted versus the system that we are mitigating, restoring. Um, and so like versus like on the left, dissimilar on the right. And so the similarity is high on the left, dissimilar on the right. Um, and then on this axis, this is how rigorous the assessment that we think we would need to engage in a, in a robust out-of-kind uh, approach. So we're going to go from basic or simple to complex or, or, or um, uh, uh, multiple uh, dimensions. And so if we take, for example, a measure of ecological function, as that similarity of the, of the target system and the impacted system differs, we would need more rigorous functioning assessment, either more separate systems or more longer data sets, something of that nature. Um, and the same with ecosystem services. Um, they'll both follow that same trajectory. Okay, with that bit of brief introduction, um, please check out our report. Love to hear back from you. Love any feedback that you might have. We have several ways that you can give us feedback. We have a Google form that you can just type info right in that form and tell us. You can also um, download the document and uh, the PDF or the Word document. You could, you could uh, comment on uh, the Word document, um, use markup, what have you and just send that back to us, or you can use the same Google form to upload that to us. Or we're also totally willing to and, and interested in having conversations with you, uh, sidebar conversations. Uh, I have a standing Zoom on Friday middays, but also um, other times that are convenient for you. Any way you can, we can get your feedback, we'd love to have it. Thanks so much. Um, we're lo looking forward to hearing whatever you have to say about out-of-kind mitigation.